Hi guys, I'll join you again with another video. This is a video called Stern, and this version is on the PC. 2098. The near future is in the yard. Humanity is just beginning to make technological breakthroughs in the fields of robotics and nanoparticles. But at the same time, many people suffer from lawlessness and poverty. Our ancestors saw the future differently. There is a lot of unknown and incomprehensible now world, but it was even more unusual and scary for the inhabitants of the city of Corrupt City. Every night witnessed a terrible rumble and radiance from a huge industrial plant, where scientists were developing new technologies for military purposes. This is what the locals say. But what is actually hiding and lurking within the walls of an unusual plant, we can only guess. It was an ordinary day when, due to the series of unsuccessful experiments by scientists, an earthquake was treated under the complex. As a result, all the inhabitants of the city were agitated. The plants exploded and splashed toxic fallout for kilometers around it. The shake was followed by a lull for five minutes, and then the whole sky was covered with clouds, which were so thick that they did not let in the slightest sunlight. The feeling that a world ceased to exist did not leave the inhabitants until the silence was replaced by strange sounds. They were monsters, creatures of hell itself, capable of infecting civilians who eventually turn into the same unknown creatures. In connection with these terrible events, the military sent a battalion of soldiers to the city to completely cart on off the city and rescue the ruling Iliad. But one of the soldiers did not want to put up with the order, watching people die, and leaves the military base forever being branded a traitor. His path begins on the street of the poor. So this is another indie game, uh, I was sent actually last, I think it was last weekend, and I sort of found the controls a bit awkward, so I sort of abandoned it, went to other stuff, and I've sort of come back to it today. Uh, the main reason is, even though it's not a bad game, as I'll explain later on, the fact is you have to use keyboard and mouse to play this, you cannot use a controller at all that I can find anyway. Which I feel is a bit of a letdown for a game like this, which is traditionally used controllers. That's just my opinion. Um, whether or not, because the game is quite new, whether or not it'll be brought out another update, I don't know. Hopefully it will. So anyway, this video consists of my review of the game. Also, uh, it consists of several runs of me attempting to get as far as I can with it. Um, because I'm not very good at the game. And... It was either do a video of me doing different runs because it does contain different um, stuff in all fairness, um, mostly, and or just do one my best run and either that which have been a very short video, so hence the reason for me recording it like this.
so if you die when you die you go back to the beginning um well so far anyway uh, unless it changes once you get past a certain point i don't know because i really didn't get very far on it but um but the your xp your level whatever rank whatever that stays the same which makes a difference because it makes each run easier especially like towards the end you see i got to level three well, the, the early enemies then are so easy to kill and stuff, it's, it really makes a difference. So again, it's a bit similar to the game I, I uh, did a view, review on yesterday. Um, not the same type of game, of course, because that was a top-down one. But the fact is, the more you do the runs, the better you get to know the, the map better, the better you know to know where the enemies are, how to avoid, when to take them on, when to avoid them. You can play it any way you want. You could play it in a way of um, shooting every enemy and just because your XP will go up, which okay is is not a bad thing in a sense. Or you can duck and dive, just kill the enemies that just cross your path. It's really up to you how you play it. I believe this is only on the PC. I will put it in the uh, description because I I never check before I do these reviews. I'm pretty awful at it. Um, but there we go it's not a bad game again you know um, it's it's one you got to put a lot of time in I think to really suss it all out but you know it's it's decent enough you know I again I can't really grumble at it I just I should have reviewed this before my, my last two reviews no fairness because I had the, the game sooner but my first go of it it was like oh my god I can't use these controls so I, I abandoned it I had a quick go yesterday and I thought Okay, this is a bit easier now, and then I recorded this today. I started from the beginning again, I didn't use any rank that I had before, I just started again, because I didn't know that I got that far anyway. Um, and so there we go, this is the game, uh, so let me know what you think. So as you can see, I died back to the beginning again, but my level and stuff is, is still as it was. Uh, you see the buildings I go past at the beginning, I don't look at them because they're all locked because you can't open them. So you just that's why I ignore them, in case you're wondering why I don't look at them. Um, so yeah, this run I go a bit different again. I think it's this one or the one before. I go, there were quite a few runs, I died a lot. But I just basically try to show different parts of the game. Um, and I'm sort of learning it as I go along. Like at the bottom left, you see things for uh, like uh, for grenades and stuff like that. I never really used them until I got towards the end of the game and stuff like that. Turrets and stuff. You know, that's the way I'm with games. I just I just like to get on them and learn as I go along. And uh, pretty much the same with this one. So excuse if you've had this game and you play it, uh, my terrible playing, that's the reason why. But if you watch the video, you see I sort of get better as time goes on. Uh, as I said, I did find the controls awkward. i got to be honest, I did. Um, but that's just me. I'm not used to... Every 2D game I've played, like... You know, well, not really like this, but uh, 2D side-scroller. I've always used controllers. So it's the first time I have to use a keyboard and a mouse for myself. Hence, that's why you found it a bit more awkward. But when you get into it, it's not too bad at all. It gets easier and easier. Only problem I had, I think you use A and D to go forward and back. And F is, is right next to D as a function button. And sometimes you hit F instead of D when you want to move and stuff like that because it's so close together. 
Again, maybe you can remap them. I never looked into it, but you know, maybe that is an option. I don't know. But um, as you would have saw the story at the beginning with the uh, backstory narration, um, what's going on and what have you. Um, and you, uh, you, you would have saw that guy that killed me when I tried to kill him because he was a zombie and he killed me back way back a bit, a bit back now I will just say because he's not there when you go back to the re replay the level again if you just do the other option not to kill him you just leave him there and you carry on I'm just saying it just I I didn't I cho chose a different option this time just to try so there we go um, please let me know what you think I plan I've got a pile of uh, my uh, Sundan gameplays on the way but as if I've had a few technical hitches getting certain games to work um, I will sort them it's just that uh, a lot going on the last few days good stuff nothing bad but so it's been a bit of a distraction to get on with it um, even this morning I was working on the um, oh, so again, House of the Dead the arcade version which looks much better than the PC version but again I can't get that reload function, it's just, it's just like uh, hit and miss with it. Sometimes it does, most time it does, sometimes it doesn't. When it doesn't, it's so frustrating because you're losing your score and what have you. I was told some ways to bypass that or che cheats, or whatever, whatever and, but none of them are working for me as yet, so I'm still working on that. Because even I only released the PC version a few days ago, I do intend to release the RK version because it does look so much better. But that will be as and when I crack the reload system on it.
as you saw I died again I didn't I think it's disco I discovered that I had a double jump I didn't know that till then there we go uh, yeah so please if you like the look of the game and you think my gameplay is not the best as, as I've said please check out other videos of it people who can play it better than me because it's not a bad little game I gotta be honest it's say an indie game again but I've, if you look back at my the reviews this week I've we stumbled across some real gems in indie games and um, I did a lot with indie games when I started off the channel excuse me my phone but not just so much recent months but it's making me want to go back to them a bit more but for now for this channel I've said before I'm going to be doing reviews of games like this where I should get, get sent the keys for also games on game pass stuff like that um, and I'm going to be my, do my long play playthroughs. I was thinking of doing stuff like I would start with division, long play, no commentary, games in multiple parts. But I've decided now against that. Um, I decided no, I'm not going to do that. And at least not at the moment, unless I find something that's really going to really, you know, draw me, and I'm, I'm not going to do that. I have started playing. Uh, Marvel Legends of the, of the Guardians, whatever it's called, because um, that came out in the Game Pass. But again, a lot of people have done that. So if you want to see me re replay that, please let me know. But a lot of people have done it already, so I don't want to like put stuff out if you guys have already seen it and what have you. So please let me know about that. I have recorded it, but what I've been playing of it, but you know, I don't know whether not to release that. Um. So anyway, get back to the game. Let me know what you think. You were just seen before I died that I, I ranked up some of my weapons. I should have maybe ranked up my armor instead. Uh, and I don't even know if I'm using that gun yet. I don't even know where the gun is. I can't find it. I don't know what I'm doing properly yet. But uh, I will say though, the more I deeper I go into, the further I get through this game, the more I'm enjoying it, and I want to go back to it to try and get a bit further. Um, I suppose you would call it a rogue style game, yes, I suppose it is in a sense. Um, but, um, yeah, I really find it uh, very interesting and I uh, hope you guys do too.
And uh, I think I mentioned in my last review that I had um, the dev of Golden Light comment on my video, um, thanking me for videos, you sort of speak of it, about it. Well, anyway, in my last review, I had the dev of that game um, commenting on my channel as well, which is really nice, and it was a huge um, comment, and it was really, really nice, you know, really appreciated it. Um, because I respect these guys who, the work they do, and the vision they've got, because you've got to, because I've seen good and bad reviews for both the games I reviewed this week, not, not, not so much this one because it's quite new out, um, but I, th I think some people just don't get what the, what the devs are actually trying to do, you know, they're trying to maybe do a throwback to like the last game I did. It was like throwback to old style games and stuff like that, and it worked really well. But there were some people out there, then maybe the youngsters, who think, "Oh, we've seen this before, or we've seen something like this before," and they and they really like nasty about it. And I think, well, you know, I understand where the devs are coming from in a sense because, like, you know. Games like the um, Clyde game, the uh, can't the name, but now last review I did. Okay, you've seen stuff like that before in the past, yes, in a sense, in different ways. But this is why I think the dev created that game is because he was trying to bring what we know from the past into the modern age. Because the newcomers, the PC gamers, console gamers, won't probably play games like that. Uh, old style games they won't they won't know about them they won't play them and so I think it's all everyone's got the purpose you know even this style of game okay it's not a modern style and game so much but it's still a great game and it and it needs to be um, more games like this used to come out you, to show that you still play can play games like this not every game is going to be an Assassin's Creed Valhalla to be enjoyable you know or whatever you whatever you're into so anyway, I will shut up. So anyway, getting back to the game, you'll see in the t uh, top right, uh, left hand corner, yes, I got my left and right mixed up, um, there's two gauges, one is your health, one is your energy, and they both go up over time, so sometimes you might see me pausing to let my, usually my energy go up, the health takes a lot longer to go up, 
But maybe as you rank up, maybe you unlock gear which will allow it, you to, for them both to go up quicker, and maybe you'll get greater health, or extra energy. I don't know. Uh, where this game ends is as far as I've got, as much as I've played of the game, so that's as much as I know. And, uh, so, there we go. So this is the part where I ranked up some of my stuff, uh, unlocked some stuff, not earlier on, I got mixed up. Um, not sure if it's this run or the next run, it's the furthest I get. Um, but as I say, I have enjoyed it, the more you get into it, the more you enjoy it. It's, it's that sort of game, it's, it is enjoyable and one I will be revis revisiting another time. Uh, coming next to the channel, I really don't know. If I can get my gun game sorted, it'll be one of them. Um, otherwise, I'm not sure at the moment. We'll have to wait and see. Um, usually, I know what I'm going to do next. Uh, yes, I think I know I've decided what I'm going to do next. Um, you shall see very soon.
So we are approaching the end of the video. If you've stayed this long, thank you very much. And I will recommend, I've said it before, this game I got sent by Key Mailer and the other two games this week I reviewed were also sent by Key Mailer to me. And some of the recent reviews I've done uh, over the last few weeks came from them as well. I'm not sure if you have to have over 500 subs before you can get keys. I'm not sure because my son is just under 500 subs and he hasn't been able to get any keys yet. So I suspect it might be something to do with that. Again, it's due. It's down to the uh, discretion of the publishers as well, who get certain keys. Because I get turned down for stuff, other stuff like this. I I asked for it and I got it. So please check out Keymail if you're a YouTuber and um, you've got a mostly PC. Well, you know, um, I guess this game is an Xbox game, but generally most of the time they tend to be PC keys. But they could also be Switch or PS5. PS4. Uh, so yeah, just check it out. You're gonna think to lose. I'm not an affiliate firm. I'm not getting anything for telling you this. It's Keymailer. Just look for it, Google it, and you're gonna really got nothing to lose. Just you just basically sign up your account there, link your socials to it so they can see what big your channel is and what have you. And um, you got loads of keys for different games. You can read about them, see the trailers about them, whatever. And if you fancy the look of them and you want to, you wouldn't mind the key. You can click on them and say request, either you get it or you don't. Um, I've been very lucky the last few weeks to get quite a few, but before that, you know, I, I didn't get hardly any. So it's really the luck of the draw, I suppose, sometimes. But uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to go now, so until next time, video, bye for now, stay safe. Thank you.